Skid hey, steer, dude. We done ran the echo over. And also, we got big bro out here. Oh, this is exactly what we didn't want to happen right here. What is up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. So, today we are heading back up to the new Goon Squad headquarters. But not only are we heading up there with our brand new skid steer, we're also heading up there with some brand new pair of boots right here. And these suckers are basically bulletproof, basically modded out just like the skid steer here. They are still toe and all that good stuff. Go ahead and step on my toe, man. Go ahead and step on my toe. Step on your toe. I'll still toe all the way around. <laughs> That's just in case, you know, we're gonna be dealing with some heavy stuff. We don't want any logs or anything pinching our toes. But we're super excited to head back up there with this sucker right here. We're gonna hook up the bush hogging attachment and just try to clear out that second road. Cause we went in there with some chainsaws, but we got wore out. Now we got this beast and that should do the trick right there. And also we're gonna test out the F-450. We went down the mountain, but this time we're gonna go up the mountain. It is a little bit wet. I don't know if it's ideal for heavy equipment right now, but I think we're just gonna put all this stuff to the test. We got a lot of things we're gonna put to the test, the boots, the truck, and the skid steer. But I say, let's just go ahead and head up the mountain. Dude, this truck right here is an absolute workhorse, man. This thing's a beast. It pulled it right up, no problem. We did have to throw it in four low on that really sharp turn, but dude, it made it up there like nothing. Like man. nothing, man. It screams. This thing is an absolute jet. Dude, everything that we built, honestly, is almost like made for this property, dude. Everything's this just lining up, man. Dude, it's lining up, except for the Duramax. We just got to get rid of that thing. Yeah, but. Duramax ain't nothing. It's just a little, it's a it's pretty a, truck. It's, it's a pretty truck. Little. It'll do some work, though, but... This is what this truck is made for right Heck here. Heck yeah, man. F-450, larger axles, absolute beast of an engine. It just screams, sounds like a jet, like I just said. Oh yeah. Dude. But before we actually throw on the bush hogger, let's just talk about the beautiful weather that we got out today right now. Uh, we got some low clouds, as you can tell. There's like a little line. I'm sure there was a lot more earlier in the morning. Dude, you know I don't think what? we even need to look at the weather channel anymore out no, here. We just, we just go over here. That's, that's, that's our weather channel right there. Just look Heck down yeah. the valley right there. Meteorologist <laughs> right here. But anyways, dude, it is time. It is a little bit. How's the ground? The ground's a little wet, a little moist. How's the traction on them things? Dude, I about had to stick them out the door and help the F-450 a little bit with these things. Dude. You know? Both of us, we could have just Fred Flintstone or yeah. Flintstone that sucker. Push that sucker right up, but I say we go ahead and actually throw on our bush hogger attachment and just head down the mountain.
Alrighty boys, so we made it down the mountain with this skid steer right here and we already cranked this bad boy up and started doing some work at the beginning of this road. I gotta say, this thing is just mulching, cutting, just doing some damage up here as you can tell. Just turning in this stuff into like mulch. Man. Dang, Look at that son. piece of wood up under there. You see what? that, man? We just planked it out, man. <laughs> Dude, we might have to turn that into a bench or something. Dude, we'll find a bigger log, just shave the top of it down and turn it into a bench. I mean, those carbide teeth right there is what's doing that, man. Those teeth over there, just shaving everything. Heck yeah. But I gotta say, this thing is not working to its full potential because we did actually turn this uh, the settings up in this machine to make these blades just spin as, as the highest yeah, setting, the highest setting on this thing. So it's spinning good, but if you can just look at some of these blades right here, dude, these suckers. See, this part is what hits the trees. Those are rounded out right dude, there. That is smooth, and the carbide teeth I noticed are basically just worn out. They're man. like chewed up a little bit. I mean, this is a rental unit, so people probably put these things to the test. But our new one is probably going to work like ten times dude, better, man. Right now, this unit right here is just munching, dude. Once we get our new unit dude it's gonna be like gonna be eating, dude man. alligator style or yes, something sir, like man. that we're gonna just clean all this out once that which should be here in a few days right a couple of days i believe two more days Hopefully, dude i can't wait and then like we're gonna go as far as we can as right now with this rental unit but yeah. as for this one right here we're probably gonna have to move it because that's bigger than 10 inches right yeah that thing only can do up to seven to ten inches and this thing is just way too big we'll just we may even bring the excavator down here Ooh. and like claw some of these big ones out of the way and stuff like that we're gonna put everything to work dude, put two of these machines oh, to yeah. work at one time and i'm sure we can have this sucker cleared out in no time man no time, dude once we move this sucker i guess i'm just gonna hop back in there and just try to go that way Alrighty guys, so check this out. This machine then cleared out this whole entire road. Well, there is still a lot more road over there. Yeah, it we... goes all the way in those woods over there, but we stopped by some big old rocks because, you know, this was the main, you know, area that we really wanted to clean Where out. Where the view is, you know, we wanted yeah. to clean that out. And probably next, I don't know if we're gonna keep going down that road because that's still our property, right? Yeah, it goes all the way down, like pretty dang far. It's so like I'd... a pizza slice. One, This one lot is like a pizza slice yeah, or like, a pie, if you like will. It goes that way right there, so. It'd be nice to just go keep dude, on going with it. There's like it, some rocky territory over there. It'd be yeah. perfect for a Can-Am. Oh yeah. But dude, this machine is doing work. And then we're coming in with the excavator, moving the bigger logs. Yeah, putting them on the side. That way we can just cut them up, stack them up, and get everything cleaned out. And we dude. started chopping some logs with a chainsaw. But go ahead and let them know what happened. I mean, I wasn't, I wasn't really watching. And this chainsaw just happened to be a little pebble underneath that big old echo dude, skid steer dude we done ran the echo over but i wonder if that thing still runs dude i, I believe so i mean the fuel tank's kind of cracked so i might run on a on one like piston or something like that oh. let's cut that off right there <laughs> it runs amazing but we did get warranty on it hopefully they cover it dude sorry sir i just dropped it <laughs> That's what we'll say. We'll say we just dropped it. No, we'll tell them what happened. Hopefully yeah. they hook us up. Hopefully they hook us up. And also we got Big Bro out here. This is the man that taught us everything we know right here. Right. 
<laughs> As of right now, we're probably gonna take a little break, right? Yeah, take a little lunch break, come back, clean a little, probably bring the, a bucket for that thing yep. and just like scoop some of this stuff up and just clean that little road area out. Yes, sir, let's do it. Let's do it. Alrighty guys, so we are back and we just got something to eat with the bros, but we went ahead and took in our chainsaw and we told them what happened and honestly they said they may not be able to warranty it, but they took it in and they said they'll let us know here in a little bit, they'll give us a phone call. But as of right now, we're probably gonna go down the mountain and continue working with those machines because I mean, we are just moving some some trees, chopping some stuff, and they are just doing some absolute work. Oh yeah, and the sun came out and it's drying stuff up, so we're just gonna continue with this, with these heavy machineries, yeah. dude. We're probably gonna go ahead and keep cleaning down there a little bit more, and then we're probably gonna come back up here and maybe even start clearing out this side of the hill. Yeah, this think? side or right here, dude, all the way on the sides over here, Ooh. clean some of these brushes out. Dude, I'd like to stay on top of the property here, main, maintaining the house area over here, because here real soon, we're gonna have our permits pulled for the new thing that we're gonna build right here. We haven't revealed exactly what we're gonna build, but we got some ideas. We're taking some of your guys' ideas. And of course, we did hear about the helipad that you guys want us to build. We're definitely gonna build one somewhere, probably smack dab right here in the yeah, middle, Yeah, we're, we're thinking about doing one right in the middle of the driveway, going around it, and like putting like a little H probably out of cobblestone or something mm -hmm. like that. Dude, we got some ideas we coming, got some dude. I We got some tricks up our sleeves. But anyways, as of right now, let's head back down the mountain and continue working. son are the fans still running yeah the fans still running cooling that thing down man i'm so glad we actually got that uh piece right there because without that cooler man I'm, i bet this thing would overheat dude with the work that you're doing here look oh, how much yeah, work dude. we've gotten done dude, i cleared it out as far as possible a little bit past the, that little tree the trees that are laying down it's actually kind of steep like where water actually wallowed out the ground so they have to like bring in like a bucket straighten that out over there but dude we got this that. road going. It's a little bit rocky down here, but you know what? The main thing is to actually get the trees down out of here, dude. Get the trees, and this thing is taking it out no problem, even with some dull blades on it, right? Yeah, really dull blades, but you know what? This thing is just, I guess it's just breaking them down, dude, honestly, This thing dude. is a hoss, but I can't wait to get the new one as as usual, you oh, know? Yeah, the dude. New is always better, yeah, man. New is, new is always better in this type of equipment right here. New is always better. For sure, but... Yep. Right now up the mountain, is that what you were going to say? That's what I was just about to say. We're about to head back up, but with the excavator, I'm just trying to move like the big logs out of the way. Yeah, just stack them up. That way we can just cut them uh, later with we the were supposed to. We were supposed to actually grab the uh, fl a straight edge, straight edge yeah. bucket or something. Are the we bucket. still going to do that? I don't know. Maybe we'll do that maybe tomorrow. Who yeah, knows? we'll save that for later, dude. But we got a nice little ri a riding trail cleared out over here. Oh, yeah, definitely, dude. I can't wait. There's some... What is that? Flies? Dang. What the heck are they attacking right They're there? They're attacking. Looks like a centipede. Dude, that's messed up right there. But you might have noticed us in a different change of clothes, and we actually had to stop, pause for a second and run home. Let them know why. Dude, we had to run home, change some clothes, because uh, before I actually cut all this, I walked down it to see how steep it was. And I walked back up, and there was a bunch of, like, little tiny, I think they're called flea ticks. They're very small, and they're just all over my pants. And I was dude. like, dude, I'd rather just, but I easily just, like, swiped them off of my hand. But, dude, them, so, them suckers are so tiny that I had to just go change some clothes because they could get inside your clothes and stuff and then crawl wherever and get in on your skin. Dude. And just what is it called when they actually uh, latch on latch on or attach? You don't want that. So you took a shower. Even I took a shower. I just didn't feel right. Oh, yeah. There's one thing that makes a man go a little bit crazy, and that's them critters. Yeah, you don't want no <laughs> critters. Spiders, you know, I don't like none of that stuff. But I mean, anyways, I ain't afraid of them, but you know what? I ain't afraid what? of them, but the, some of them bites are pretty dang scary, you dude, know. But this machine... 
yeah the bugs kind of suck but you know what yeah, we're dealing yeah, with it we already got the property up there uh, uh sprayed right yeah we got it completely sprayed there is no ticks up there or any type of bugs anymore and when the pest control guy was spraying he said a bunch of black widows actually came out as well which wow is, those things are crazy they were like on the side of the house but we got all that treated um probably we'll treat some of this i know you can like spray some stuff down here we'll probably end up doing that later Dude, on I'd like but to once we mow it you know what you know or bush hog it you ain't worried about that stuff. yeah because i think ticks they like to stay pretty low because what they do is they they wait for a host to they, walk real close just, which is a deer they, let's they say just catch hitchhikers you know hitchhikers or deers which are pretty dang low so they stay about three feet on bushes yeah. and then they would just like attach or whatever walk on the they can't fly or jump can they no i don't think so i think they just whatever whenever they you just, just brush by them they'll just like stick to you they, them ticks or something else but other than that this place is looking dude, pretty look beautiful those, dude the hawks right there that's crazy crazy looking honestly looks dude. like a good little off-roading course that's what man. i was saying and it kind of like drops down right like come over here real quick check this place out let's keep moving man like i wanted to go further down in here but as you can tell this is this looks like where water actually goes down right here Ooh. And, it, and it watered watered out the dirt right here so if we can like put some dirt here or some rocks we can go a little bit further down just keep on going dude, dude this is fun though these heavy uh, machinery right here is just fun to just operate dude, man right now we're just doing like some wood stuff right here what, what would you call this like setup right here forestry forestry yeah yep, bush hogging forestry whatever you want to call some it. forestry right now dude. dude we made it a long ways dude crazy from from all the way up there all the way down to right here dude and that there's is still much more to just uh Push clear hog. out dude. clear Push out hog. i want to go further down that road but as you can tell there is some terrain here that we're gonna have to get used to yeah we're gonna stop on this trail for now as of right now i guess we're gonna do a little bit of cleaning on the way up and then we're gonna probably do some bush hogging on the side of the hill or by the house yep let's do it Alrighty guys, so we got everything bush hogged up here. I mean, not everything, but the big grasses and stuff like that that was growing around the edge over here. I'm sure we can go a lot further down there, but we're probably gonna save that for another time. Yeah, we just wanted to take care of the stuff that was like on the actual lawn, Yeah, and just overgrown. So we took care of that fairly quick, dude. Oh yeah, and I tried getting some of this stuff on the edge, which is super sketchy because I mean, it's, it's kind of steep right there, but over here I actually like went down in there and turned around because it's not that bad so that's probably where we're gonna enter once we're gonna start actually bush hogging this this far we're gonna go in there and just like drive around hopefully hey we may have to do some sort of method where you go in there attach it on a chain and i'm gonna be behind you on the skid steer or not on the skid steer on the, on the excavator pulling you up and down if it starts sliding like that i mean if it slides i'm just gonna uh, just turn it down that way i can just go straight to that road right there and just end up on there yeah you, know? you don't want to turn sideways because you could you pop a track pop or something a track like that. or flip sideways or something like that but that shouldn't be no issue just we're just getting the hang of what's going on right here what's underneath this tall grass because it almost looks like it's all straight up under there but dude there's just so much logs big rocks and all that stuff that we got to be careful with but other than that, dude, we got a lot of work done today. That bush hogger is just, that's a unit right there, that, dude. Absolutely right there, man. That thing does some 
absolute work. Oh yeah. But it's already late. We kind of just lost track of time. We were having so much fun. Know, to be man, honest with you, whenever you're in heavy, whenever we're both like working in these heavy equipment machineries, man, you can just get so much done that you just can go all day, dude. Is, dude, if we had LED lights, maybe we'd deck them out with LEDs. Some light bars and everything. I mean, it, it is kind of starting to rain, so we're probably just gonna have to catch you guys tomorrow in the morning. Alrighty guys, so it is the next day here and before we actually wrap this video up What we're gonna do is actually go ahead and test out the side of this hill We're probably gonna pull out some of these logs with the excavator and then we're gonna send down the skid steer We may even have to hook up a safety chain. Who knows? We just want to test out the terrain here So let's just go ahead hop in the machines and see what we can do Dang, son. Dude, that looks 10 times better Look already, that. dude. Just cleared that little spot out. That's uh, probably the less steeper stuff. Coming over here to this side is probably way steeper over here, dude. But you know what? I think we may do that chain method where I send you down or something. We'll figure something yeah, out. definitely, dude. But that thing is a beast, man. I thought I was going to get stuck in some of those areas over there. But, dude, that just pulled right out no problem, man. It did spin out a little bit. But once you hit the perfect angle, man, that thing just shoots It'll right just up. just go right up, dude. And as for this stump right here, you try to grind it down. But those carbide teeth are done. I can't wait to get our new, new, our new attachment, which should be here maybe hopefully in the next video. In that next would be video. really awesome, dude. dude. We're gonna go we're gonna go ham in the next video probably get all this cleaned out even oh, that yeah. next section right there because this is like 30 minutes of work right here and already man these heavy machines are doing the thing man Alrighty, guys so that is pretty much gonna be a wrap for today's video i gotta say we did get a lot of work done with these machines but i can't wait till we get our new attachment and basically clear the whole entire property but make sure you guys' post notifications are on so you don't miss out on anything and also, if you want an inside scoop before YouTube, definitely give us a follow on Instagram at Goon Squad. Also, guys, I do want to mention that we just restocked on our custom stainless steel Goon Squad bottle openers. These suckers are super fire and they usually go pretty dang quick. So if you guys want to copy one and help support your boys, be sure to visit GoonSquad.com. But with all that being said, thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Be sure to drop your comments and thoughts down below. We'll catch you guys next time. Peace.